the things I do for Patreon. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am, and we are back with a new band and a Patreon request from Mike C. And uh, the band is called Refugee. And the track name is Credo. Um, it is a lot of different things. I think it, Credo is the name of the song where there's different parts of it. It's like 19 minutes long. This is a long one, folks. So uh, strap in, uh, grab a drink, grab a smoke. This is going to be good, apparently, because uh, Patrick Mraz, um, Lee Jackson, and Brian Davison. Three dudes. But uh, I remember Patrick from Relayer, and uh, he was an insane keyboard player. So I think he plays a lot of stuff on this, too. Yeah, there's a lot of different instruments he's got. So let's hop right into it. If you guys are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below the zombies. Um, really helps the channel out. We just passed 11K, and we are on our way to 20 now. Let's do it. Ba -ba. All right, here we go. Refugee, Credo. Three, two, one, go. God. Sounds crazy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. <laughs> wow.
very different. It's like prog fusion. With like a, I don't know, Bach spin. or something else. Y'all were on some the stuff. <laughs> Jackson on vocals. He's got a very strange voice. It's very different. And it's haunting almost. See, Brian's really picking it up now. Guys, I keep checking. It's crazy. Three fucking guys. It's like Procol Harum and 
ELP had a baby. Patrick has been insane in the song. Insane. Such such good work. There's the ELP part. like madness. Focus away from the like piano, like this song opened up in like insane ways. vitamin in your comment. I know you were watching, not skipping around. So many different tones and sounds. It's, it's crazy. Patrick is awesome at this. They all, all three of them are.
definitely feel like I'm losing my mind at certain points. This has been great. I'm gonna have to listen to this a couple times. Dude. This is nuts. This is like Carnival 9, but like the yin to the yang of that. The lack of vocals, you know, like for the most part of it, it's really helped it too, I think. Bro, these textures they're getting is insane. How they end this. I feel like there's a lot of ideas, but no like constant through line really, other than like the main theme part. There is like a whole thing, it's like a whole play almost. I don't even know what to say, dude. <laughs> well, if you're still with me, guys, I appreciate y'all. That was certainly a ride right there. All right, Mike. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was, uh, Holy shit. That was incredible. It, like at some points I didn't I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Um the piano intro that Patrick did for the first like 3 or 4 minutes was beautiful and haunting and, and very strange all at the same time and then uh, and then insanity just ensued for the rest of the song. I mean, what the fuck? I don't I don't even know what I don't even know what kind of critique. I, it was amazing. It was very strange. There's all kinds of weird textures and sounds they use that Patrick was using. Um, Brian on the fucking drums. Oh my god. It says he was playing the timpani, gongs, Tibetan temple bells, African drums, a kibasa, and broken glass. Broken glass? Not only y'all are just fucking with me. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Lee Jackson on the vocals, uh, bass, electric, cello, guitar, 12 string, acoustic guitar. Then Patrick uh, Mraz on the Mini Moog AKS synthesizer, piano, electric piano, clavinet, organ, pipe organ, marimba phone, alpine horn, electronic slinky, <laughs> mellotron, and occasional vocals. Yeah, that's uh, some experimental avant-garde uh, prog right there, if I've ever heard it. Like, the closest thing I can compare to that would be, like, Carnival 9 from, e from Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. That's literally the only connection I can really draw to anything I've heard before on this channel. Um, unless I'm just drawing a blank on other things. Uh, yeah, that was absolute insanity. It's like a, it's like triumvirate or um, ELP. It's like a three man that's just out of this world. Like, you know, kind of like, I, I don't even know. I don't, don't want to say like Rush because this isn't like Rush at all. This is completely different than that. This is just like, like I said, avant-garde experimental just insane musicianship, creativity, like, just how do you come up with this shit? That's my question. I mean, like, good God. I mean, I know that I can have my creative sparks, but 
how do you come up with this? Like, this is like a full on uh, concert, basically. You know, it's like got its own parts and everything. It's like a thesis, <laughs> um, a thesis in music class and music theory, basically. Um, wow. I'm just kind of in awe at this point. Uh, thank you, Mike, for the pick. Thank you for your request and your support. Um, I, I'm kind of just stumped, honestly. That was uh, something I'm going to have to listen to a couple more times to really get my teeth because there's so much happened. There were so many ideas. Like there was some ideas in there that could be their own songs themselves. Like some of those sections, that really strange heavy section that was, I think, like about three fourths away through the song. I mean, like what the hell? That was some dark shit right there. And then you had the beautiful piano that in the beginning that was still haunting and like the vocals that occasionally popped up. Apparently there was broken glass in there somewhere. I mean, like what the fuck, dude? Uh, yeah, that's definitely the most out there prog I think I've heard yet on this channel. So, uh, Mike, you definitely win an award for the most out there shit right there. That was, uh, that was crazy. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I definitely got a kick out of that because, um, wow. Yeah. And I had been uh, putting it off since it was so long and, um, I'm glad I finally got to it because that was a uh, one hell of an experience. Um, definitely Patrick was the highlight for me. And then Brian Davison on the drums, dude. I mean, he was holding it down and. <laughs> Some of them fills in just like weird rhythms he was coming up with. The shit I've never even thought of or dreamt of before. That's why I was so stumped there for like a minute and a half. I was just like, because he was coming up with some shit that I've never even heard of before. I mean, like, God damn. It's like, chill out, dude. Like, what are you even doing? These guys were like in the other world just coming up with stuff, man. They were getting divine inspiration from this one. I don't know. Or they were just on drugs. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, creativity can come for, without any of that stuff, too. There's plenty of people out there that have never touched a drug a day in their life, and they're creative, I guess. But I think sometimes it enhances some things. You just have to be careful and uh, be in control. But it's a very slippery slope. And uh, especially for people like me, there is no slippery slope. There's just one, and I fall off a cliff, unfortunately, because that's just how it is with me. So I got to keep my nose clean and uh, keep moving forward and uh, keep listening to music like this that takes me out of my comfort zone, makes me think about things, and just uh, begs for repeat listens because, yeah, there's some shit on there that I'd never even dreamt, like, dreamt of before. And uh, I get to listen to it a couple more times now so I can edit this video. So thank you again, Mike, for the support. I really appreciate it. Apparently, these guys only did this one album and then like a live album or something like that. So this is the only album they have. So if there's another track from this album you think I might like, uh, definitely leave it below. I might listen to it because uh, that was something else. I don't think I've heard anything like that before. Like I said, Carnival 9 is the closest thing I could compare it to, I guess. But that's in another. This is just wow. In another league, it feels like just in just strangeness. Well, there's some parts that I'm just like. <laughs> that was a good one mike thank you again if you guys didn't know we have a patreon if you want to pick a video out just like this just like mike did uh, join the ten dollar tier or up which is the super patron tier and you get one free request a month um and if you don't like patreon there's a paypal link in the description for tips requests and anything else if you want to send your boy a couple bucks for doing a good job um he could really use it it's much appreciated and you guys rock thank you for listening thanks for tuning in and i hope you have a good sunday whatever day i don't know but be safe. Yeah.